I'm Bill Hand with the daily coronavirus update report for the New Bern Sun Journal for April 15, 2020. There's no reason to stop exercising by internet or even with others as long as you keep that social distancing rule in mind. The Greenbrier community of mostly retirees has a twice a week stretching and cardio workout at Bear Park on Pine Valley Drive taught by certified yoga instructor Suzanne Blaise. Blaze gives the residents a workout at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We keep our distance, and it gives them a positive thing, exercising their body and mind, Blaze said. And it gives them a purpose, something to look forward to. If you just happen to have a bunch of N95 masks stored away in your garage, and maybe some of you actually do, UPS, Microsoft, and some health organizations are giving you a way to donate them to frontline health care workers, this also goes for any companies that have any extra stored away for some reason. The solution is to mail them postage free. The project is known as protecting people everywhere, unless you happen to be in the garage, I guess. By downloading the Health Equip app, you can learn what hospitals that sign up are most in need of your extra supplies. While medical grade supplies are preferred, anyone can donate what they have. The hospital covers the shipping costs and UPS makes the delivery. All is not happy in North Carolina land. Deaths linked to COVID-19 have passed 100, even though the increase of new cases is slowing. DHHS Secretary Mandy Cohen and Governor Roy Cooper both state that social distancing directives have helped blunt the spread and kept hospitals from being overrun. However, the Cooper said the better we can do right now in these two weeks, the more we can stay at home, the more we can flatten this curve, then the more we would be able to ease restrictions going into May. But a rally held Tuesday in a parking lot near the executive mansion in Raleigh showed that some business owners are growing restive of tight restrictions. Many businesses are in need of cash infusions to keep paying their bills or displaced employees, according to an Associated Press article by Gary Robertson. The protest included signs reading hashtag ReopenNC, a Facebook group that now has 29,000 members. The group dispersed after Raleigh police told them several times that they were violating Cooper's orders against mass assemblies, but even that resulted in some protest. Jacksonville's Dennis Burgard, owner of a real estate company who was at the scene, argued, How is it that you can buy liquor and that's considered essential, but petitioning your government is not? Finally, as of Tuesday at 11.30 a.m., Craven County has reported a total 27 confirmed COVID-19 cases. Fifteen of those individuals are recovering. There has also been one death, a Carolina East employee, and four of those cases are currently hospitalized. The County Health Department updates these figures every day on their Facebook page. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services has updated its page as of this morning and has some slightly different figures. The state declares a total of 5,123 confirmed cases in 93 of its 100 counties, with 117 deaths and 431 people currently hospitalized. By its figures, here are the local county totals. Carteret, 22 cases and one death. Craven, 31 cases and one death. Jones, 8 cases and one death. Lenore, 14 cases. And Onslow, 29 cases and one death. The State Health Department's site does not state how many people have recovered. I'm Bill Hand with the Sun Journal. Have a good day.